Today I was asked about shoulder bump, so I thought I'd create a video to describe shoulder bump. So when you're sizing cartridges, when you fire a cartridge, your shoulder gets forced into your chamber. It hits your, your chamber and then it expands. So to make it fit properly inside the chamber again, you want to size it down or you want to make it smaller. So typically in a bench gun, you want to do it one to two thousandths smaller. I prefer two thousandths smaller just to make sure it goes in smooth. So I'm going to, when you get your die, you a lot of times you get a shoulder bump gauge. So what this gauge does is it has a an angle right here that is the same angle as your brass or your shoulder on your brass. So it fits right down on here and it and it hugs or it fits snug around this shoulder. So in order to know how far you're sizing it down, you need to find out how far it is when it's fired. And then you as you put it in your sizing die, you can turn your sizing die down. The more you turn it down, the more it's going to push down on those shoulders. So we're going to take this, I call this a shoulder bump gauge. We're going to place it over this fired piece of brass, and we're just going to measure it. It doesn't mean anything. It's just going to give us a starting point or a reference. So I put it in here, and I kind of spin it around. So I'm coming up with 1.574. So I want to bump this shoulder back at least 5.73. Um, I prefer to bump it two thousandths. So my sizing die is set up to bump it to 1.572. So I take this piece of brass, I put a little bit of lube on it, and just get it lubed up. I'm going to put it in my press, and then I'm going to put it in my die, size it all the way down, all the way back up. I'm going to wipe the brass off, the lube off the brass. Then I'm going to put the shoulder bump gauge back on here. And I'm going to remeasure it. And now it measures 1.572. So that means I've bumped the shoulder back two thousandths, which means it should slide into the gun and stop just short of the chamber wall. And that way, when I fire it again, it'll expand and I'm not working the brass too hard. It, I'm only sizing it down two thousandths. So once again, this is what I call a shoulder bump gauge. This angle fits right onto the angle of the cartridge, the, the piece of brass, and it gives you your measurement of start and to finish.